Still joining us live this morning here on Keel is Shreveport Police Chief Willie Shaw. Chief, uh, how are you this morning? Thank you for joining us. Good morning. I am fine. Um, I was looking at the stats report. The crime stats report is about 23, 24, 25 pages. And I started to read it, and it looked like Aaron's tax return, so I kind of put it back down. Could you tell us succinctly the good news, the bad news, what you're proudest of? Uh, well, let's just look at the bottom line number. The bottom line number is 10,728 Part 1 crimes. That's the lowest we've been since 1975. What do you attribute that to? Well, it, it, uh, it's a multitude of things, but mostly it's the hard work of the men and women of the Streetport Police Department uh, in conjunction with the citizens of the Streetport working together to reduce that crime number. I remember back in the, the 80s, 90s, we were recording, you know, 80, 90 murders a year. We're now at 28 murders last year. What has changed? And 29 the year before and 20 the year before that and 20 the year before that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was here during those times. You bet. And what has changed is the, the attitude of uh, citizens. Uh, they're willing now to uh, help us fight crime. In those particular days, we, we were crime written with gangs and what have you and uh people didn't necessarily have uh uh the willingness to work with us at that time and partly because of some of the things that we did uh we're a lot better at what we do now uh if you call us we respond if you tell us about uh, problematic locations we take care of those things we don't let things fester now to grow into those violent uh Ending. When you say some of the things that we did were not helping, do you think the, the adversarial relationship that some people perceived has completely changed and it's now a much better relationship? It is like night and day. Uh, in those times, uh, this was prior to uh, Rodney King, and I, and I always talk about that, policing before Rodney King and policing after Rodney King. Policing before Rodney King, it was very adversarial with the community and police officers. And what Rodney King did was uh, that incident brought to light some things that the police departments needed to do and look internally at themselves and how they were conducting themselves. And uh, they did across this country. And that, that began a change in developing uh, what we call now community, community-oriented community policing. Chief, and, let's assume... Uh, uh, I'm pardon me, go ahead. Finish your thought. I apologize. We're, we're fully committed to community-oriented policing. And, and that trend started. And uh, 91, right after right after uh, the Rodney King incident in L.A. What I started to say was, you seem to think, and obviously it's true, that a great deal of the success in fighting crime in Shreveport is citizen involvement. Say for a second there is a police official from a more crime-ridden city listening this morning. What is it specifically that the Shreveport police under your leadership has done that makes citizens in more crime-infested neighborhoods willing to cooperate where maybe before they weren't? Well, we, uh, as I said, we're fully committed to community-oriented policing. We have a bureau by that name. Uh, we have 43 people assigned to that bureau. Uh, they, they don't necessarily respond to calls. They go out and uh, deal with community meetings, set up neighborhood watches, set up neighborhood associations. Anytime there's a neighborhood association, a neighborhood meeting, we attend those meetings. Some meetings we, we actually call ourselves. Uh, so we're, we're, we're deeply involved in the community, and it starts with a grassroots uh, campaign. You have to get out there and let the public know that you're there with them. And uh, we've done a good job of that over the years. Uh, let's just look at the, the overall interaction with the public. We have some 278,000 interactions with the general public uh, during the course of last year, and only 16,000 ended in a law enforcement action. That's uh, about 5.5%. So 94% of the time, we're doing something other than taking a law enforcement action. You have a number on here that's called the Violent Crime Index, and it shows that it's up 3%. It looks like it combines a number of violent crimes, including murder, rape, robbery, etc. That increase is primarily due to the dramatic increase in rapes. Is that accurate? Uh, not necessarily a dramatic increase in rapes. Let, let me tell you a little bit about rapes. There's a, in this country, there's rape, uh, sexual assault that happens maybe 110 seconds. Every 110 seconds in America, somebody is sexually assaulted. And uh, when you look at the, the rape statistic, it's the most underreported crime there is. 
because of uh, the, the, the stigma that, that's attached to that, and mostly uh, people that, that are raped, they're raped by people that they know, uh, sometimes family members and what have you. So we encourage people to report those crimes. Tell well, to report those crimes. I think the increase is due to personal robberies uh, that went up this year. Uh, and, uh, and we're talking, you know, small numbers overall, but uh, still an increase. Chief, uh, Chief Shaw, tell us about the website that you are now part of. Shreveport's now part of. We got a we got about a minute, less than a minute left, but I know that's real important to you, and, and citizens need to know about it. Right, and while we're on the on the subject of crime stats, we've got to talk about the perception of crime. Uh, people, you know, the first five or ten minutes of the news, that's what we see, and that's in any community in, in America. The first five minutes of the news is dedicated to crime, and uh, it highlights the news, so people would assume that. That's all that's there. But you have a mechanism called Raids Online. Uh, and you can click on it, type your address in, and it will pull up sex offenders that's on your street. It will show you burglaries that happened, thefts, anything that's listed in Part 1 crime, uh, rape, robberies, burglaries, theft, theft from auto. It's all listed. Uh, we keep it up to date, uh, real time, it's about two weeks. Uh, so you can click in your, your home address, and it will show you uh, what's going on in your neighborhood, on your street. And also, uh, as an add-on to that, as a Crime Stoppers uh, uh, event that you can click on if you want to give information about a crime. Chief Willie Shaw, can't thank you enough for joining us. Hope we can get you in studio one morning. All right, thank you very much. Take a pleasure, care. Chief. Thank you for your time. News Radio 710 Keel, Robert and Aaron.